that we're talking about something that is purely a dangerous subject to many because, again, it, it defies the belief system that we know about. Um, we talk about um, the Bible. We don't talk about how those books came out. We talk about the, Alexand- the Library of Alexandria. It had a lot of this information in it. The information that we're talking about that was in ancient Egypt, written in the hieroglyphics. Um, in fact, people claim that they can read hieroglyphics, but only some. Some people can look at exactly a hieroglyphic uh, uh, drawing, and some of them can look at the ancient uh, drawings of Aztecs and Mayans, and they can tell exactly for word for word or um, drawing by drawing exactly what is um, being perpetrated. But others cannot understand the symbolism of what was being um, given at this time. Now, I want to ask you, now this is like we're defying what people would say, say in concept of Bible, of what they feel their truth is. Um, what do you have to say to those people? And then I'm going to let John ask you some questions here. Well, first of all, I, I believe that this is time for us to get out of uh, what people think because you're never going to find uh, that occurring in the reality where everyone is, is, is perceiving things the same way that, that you're perceiving things. In fact, that, that would make the purpose of the reality void. What happens is, is because the word did not come back void, as you see the statement says, that means that what, what happens with some people is that they're still in the cocoon. They're still on various levels of sleep. If you want to awake them, you're going to need to vibrate them. And so you need to understand principles of vibration, and that's the only way. Like talking is, is, is not worth anything. That's why it's cheap. Uh, English is a, it's a, you have half of the language, so it doesn't manifest as a creation in people's minds. So what happens is, is that when you're trying to explain to someone about something new over the top of an embedded, uh, a genetically embedded concept, because slavery embeds the genes, uh, it makes the genes recessive. So what happens, the person doesn't basically want to live. That, and think of, let's think about what happens. Like if you get to a point where you, you have been beaten and you've been uh, utterly destroyed to a certain degree, your family is missing, your, your land is gone, all these kind of things, the, the will, W-H-E-E-L, is broke. So when the will is broke, the only thing that can come and, and fix that is someone who knows how to work with, with chakras because chakras are, are the wheels. And, uh, and so that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this is a very integral work. This is even fringe. Like, people are not sitting down talking about this all day. The most they get to it is they pull some of these, these wild books out, and then they start drawing circles on the ground and then staying in their own, staying in cycles like they've always been. This is, this is taking in totally different kinds of individuals these days, ones that have been through all of this stuff and then still have risen with clear minds to really come in with another uh, uh, level of this expansion. It doesn't involve uh, uh, systems and languages and things at all. It requires energy and a direct connection to a pure source, because that's what, that's what we are. That's what we do. We, until we see that again, we'll never see ourselves. So that's, that's also why I'm, I'm very adamant about bringing this forth. And again, just, just to close out what I was explaining about the, the word is with good is that we need to understand that this word is specific. Now, I'm not going to give anyone the word, but I will tell you the word makes a cone. And what this is, is like, it's, if you understand when you get into a stage with your third eye and your chakras on, and you say certain words, geometry appears in front of you. And then from that point, you shade the geometry with more words. So that's why words are, they are sculpts. They sculpt, and they sculpt geometry that is breathed from your mouth. That's why we have the breath of life. We can breathe life into an existence, but that existence is this geometry, right? So what happens is, is that, that in the beginning was the Word, and then when the Word fell into the hands of good, this is like an old cartoon where they say, never let this fall into the hands of evil. Now, again, I, I don't want to do the good and evil thing here, but we're living in the world where there are individuals in possession of the Word the word that was the covenant, and this was the agreement between what we're knowing as Sheba, Solomon, and Menelik, and who is MLK, uh, not just Martin Luther King, but Moloch, the king, the horn god. Like in, this con- in the country of Abyssinia, the cattle is the form of current or energy or currency. So, you know, we need to 
kind of dig into our books a little bit and connect it all together. I have it all connected in my, 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 my soul. And so that's what lets me know what's going on because I can watch the entire process. I can be the, the, uh, the bug on the wall, for lack of terms, in other realities of when this is all taking place in time so that we can get our, our stories together. Because still, the reality is, is that we'll see the results of what we believe right in this reality so that when you get a hold of truth, you'll see the whole path.